exclusive Call 6 investigation. A new report just released on one of IU's fraternities. We have an inside look at what really happened in the Phi Kappa Psi house for years before their suspension. Call 6 investigates Paris Lubell joins us live now with all the details. Paris. Erica, it's a stunning report that opened our eyes to what actually happened inside that fraternity. We even found out some things that we didn't know. One of them called capping and involved simple bottle caps. It was just a few days before Christmas when the Phi Kappa Psi fraternity at IU found itself officially suspended. We didn't know much at the time, reporting the very brief facts that we had. But tonight, Call 6 Investigates has exclusively obtained new documents revealing what the university found during its investigation of the fraternity. The reports date back to 2013 and show incidents like a student taken to the hospital with a .345 blood alcohol level and reports of hazing, things like sleep deprivation, interrogation and what we found most stunning a thing called capping that's where members balance on their knees and elbows on top of bottle caps apparently forced to stay on them in some cases until the caps filled with blood the school tried to help placing the chapter on probation and laying out a plan that required members to attend educational courses to change the ideology of the fraternity that plan was never completed according to the school then in November 2015 a police report that quote an overwhelming amount of marijuana, end quote, were found after a fire alarm was accidentally set off. And less than a month after, two more reports of hazing. The school saying the drug incident alone was enough for the suspension. The hazing report put it over the top. These incidents were all reported to the fraternity's national headquarters in Indianapolis. We went there to ask why they didn't step in to help the chapter get back on track. I'm Paris with RTV6. Nobody would talk on camera, but we did later receive an email with two links. One to the fraternity's prepared statement that was sent out in December, and the second to the Fraternal Information and Programming Group's risk management page. Now still a lot of questions in this, and we have the full report on our website. That's the IndieChannel.com, as well as the RTV6 app. And we'll bring you more updates as soon as we have them. For now, reporting live, I'm Paris LaBelle. Call 6 Investigates. Paris, thank you.